Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're finding these videos useful and uh, subscribing to channel. In today's session on WVD, I'm here to show you how you can deploy and add extra session host to the host pool that we created. We'll be also creating an application group. We'll be adding certain applications, and in the end, we'll assign certain users and test if they're able to access those applications. So if you remember in our last video, we created the host pool with the name ITS uh, by using the new ARM deployment. And it, everything was deployed under the resource group with the name WVDRG. We have a domain controller with the name DC505. It has an IP of 10.0.0.4 and it's under the domain techdatacanada.com. So today we'll be fo focusing on these three steps. So before I do that, let me just show you what we did last time. So if I go into my WVD, you will see we already provisioned the host pool with the name ITS. And if I go and expand this, you will see that I have uh, one machine. ITS zero will be adding another one. When we created our host pool, it all automatically creates a desktop uh, application group. We'll be creating one more application group and then we'll be assigning other users, certain users from my Active Directory, and then we'll be giving access to those applications. And actually having said that, uh, one thing I forgot to tell you that I've already synchronized my user's hash by using the AD Connect. So all the users from my domain controller has been moved to Azure AD. So that thing I've already done. Right. So something to point out. And if you don't know how to use AD Connect, I have created a video in which you can go through the step-by-step -step procedure, what you need to do from download, basically just a quick click click that you need to do, but uh, you need to synchronize those uh, users from your Active Directory domain services into Azure AD. So with that in place, let's get started. So I'm going to go to my WVD environment. Let's go to the session host. Let's go and click on add. So we'll be adding a virtual machine to the host pool. Pick the subscription. This should be automatically grayed out because we already have, and we are adding an extra machine to our host pool. Pick your resource group, the region you want, the VM that I want in this case is uh, B1MS, one virtual CPU with a two gig RAM, number of VMs I want to add, I want one extra, the gallery, image I want to use, and it will be a Windows 10 Enterprise multi-session. It will be in the same virtual network where my all the other infra is. If you want, we can always uh, provide a public IP for this if required. Let's do that, though you don't want to do it in a production environment. You can open certain ports if you want for this machine, and you need to provide the credential for the person who can approve this uh, domain joining this machine. So let me do that. Review and create. Validation passed, and let's click on the create button. So as you can see, the deployment has been completed. So let me just go back to the WVD service, and we should see an extra session host. So go into the host pool, under my host pool, and now you can see that I have another one. So with this, we have completed the first step. So if I go back over here, we have completed this step, right? We have added one more machine and it is ITS1. So with that, let's move to the second and the third step in which we'll be creating the application group and we'll be assigning the users. So let's go there. So I will go to the application group. As I said, by default, it creates one for us, but we'll be adding one more. So let's go and add that. 
host pool is ITS, location is East US in this. You need to give the name for this application group. I'll name it application group one. And under the assignment, we need to pick the users to which we assign this. And as I said that, I've already synchronized the users from my on-prem Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. So let me pick, and I know that there is a user with the name W1, I believe, right there. Let's add that and go to next. And for the applications, let's pick some of the application that we want to assign this user. So let me pick Internet Explorer. And uh, let me add actually one more. I'll pick WordPad, save it, go to next. You need to register this with the workspace. We already have one with the name ITSWS, the one that we created in our first video of ARM deployment. So that is already picked up. And let's go review and create. and click on the create button. So application group was also created. So if I go to my resources, you'll see that I have both these uh, applications and they have been assigned to the user with the name W1. Now, with this, we have completed the second and the third step, right? And now what we'll be doing is we'll be doing the testing. So let's test that if this user is able to access these application or not. And just for something to point out that this is the URL we'll be using. And you might find that this is different from the one that we used to use before the Spring update. So let me just copy this. And uh, I will open an incognito window. Let me go here and it will ask me for my credential and hopefully those applications will be published. So let me provide the username and the password. This is not WI, actually it's W1. Write the password and finger crossed. Hopefully those applications will be there. So here we go, both the applications, Internet Explorer as well as WordPad is over here. And that is what we wanted to achieve. So in this video, we'll saw, we saw how we can add extra session hosts, create an application group, assign users. And we also tested what will be the end user experience. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.